I was originally going to give this presentation with like some really cool notes and whatnot, but um, I went back to my hotel room to get changed and seemed to have passed out. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to go with what we have. Um, Cartoon originally begged me to take this presentation. Um, I'm not much of a presentation guy per se. I wasn't really looking forward to it. I wasn't like, hey, yay, presentation. Um, but he came to the conclusion that if he didn't get somebody to do it, the Matani was going to do it. Um, and there was already a, uh, a round table for a long-winded pseudo-intelligent douchebag. <laughs> So he came to me and he said, he said, Darius, I would like you to give this presentation, but um, there's one caveat. I want you to look really classy. So this is what I have. By the way, do you have any idea how hard it is to find clothes for short fat people? It is not easy. Uh, I'm going to hit next and hope that it comes up. Goons! What is a goon? Um, <laughs> I found this description in a, in, in, in a Google search, um, hoping to get outside of pain. Goons are apparently a bunch of uncouth, savage, crass, foul-mouthed, vulgar, immature, <laughs> racist, epithet-uttering ogres who can't seem to say one sentence or make a single joke without using the worst of the worst profanity. Um, <laughs> or referring to some body function, fluid, or body part, and then giggling like a ten-year-old. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> There's actually only about 20 people in Goon Swarm. <laughs> what we consider the standard director um, computer setup. Um, this is actually not a mock-up. This is a very real representation of a desktop. Um, we've rigged that mouse and keyboard to through some magic box to all 20 of those screens. Um, we have instructions for how to set up your overview so that you're not like clicking or, oh god, I clicked in the wrong place. Uh, and, you know, between the 20 of us, we managed to get, you know, 100 man fleets and whatnot. Um, I, I'm hoping someday we'll be able to actually do something with that. <laughs> but in the meantime, we have some really cool desktops. <laughs> this is a map of where we live. I was hoping also, um, before I actually passed out in my hotel room, to have a laser pointer so I could point at things. Um, that didn't occur, but if you look down in the lower left, there's an interesting goon swarm symbol with a hand grenade. Um, uh, that's where we live, and the rest of the blue and gray are people who are not necessarily killing. Um, people in red are people who we are. Um, going to stick to the format. This is the uh, wonderful map from before 9-9 uh, was invaded, actually way back, going back about two years ago. Um, a, a lot's changed since then. Um, a particular alliance in the lower left-hand corner, um, who at the time was called Band of Brothers, decided they were going to attack us and take over some stuff in the lower right. Um, and then uh, something beautiful happened. Which is what we get here. Some of you may be familiar with this gentleman. <laughs> oh, headshot, he said. This is, <laughs> this is a map of Dell. I, I don't think I'm going to wait long enough for it to load all the way up. But this is actually an interactive map of Dell going down the... Day, there's day one. Oops. <laughs> yeah, somebody lost their stuff. <laughs> going down from the day of the invasion until it's finished. I, I'm going to go ahead and talk over it. At the end, what you'll find is that um, despite this, this you know, 
advantage that somebody was already there. Um, the, the real advantage was South 4. Um, we don't like South 4, so we kind of said, hey, maybe we should level the playing field a little bit, and then South 4 magically disappeared. <laughs> it, there was just that pesky thing of dealing with 530 passes that we had to, had to deal with. So of course, you know, like everybody likes to say, it's all about one dude pushing a button. That's the only reason we won it. And those 520 towers, really, they self-destructed before we got there. <laughs> uh, this is, yeah. <laughs> this is a uh, picture of our. Uh, w it, it, when you manage an alliance of, of 20 people, <laughs> you, you, you sometimes need external applications to kind of help make things happen. Because you know, as awesome as he is. Um, it doesn't necessarily have the corporate management capability that <laughs> scales to 20. <laughs> so what we've had to do is create external applications to deal with um, uh, things like reinforced passes and, and, and whatnot. And this is a screenshot from our, our uh, uh, pass management app.